Hello and welcome. Uh, today I thought I'd do a review of the Boss Street Q2. So this is it, Boss Street Q2. And you may be asking yourself, what is an old geezer like me doing with a funky Boss Street Q2 amplifier? Well, I asked myself the same question. Never quite sure. But this is a really good amplifier. I'm not sponsored by uh, Street Cube or Roland or Boss. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm just giving you an honest review of it. So I bought it when I did a review on the Tanglewood guitar uh, earlier on uh, because I bought that and I bought this uh, Street Q2 to replace my amp that I've got. And the reason why I did it was because uh, it got rave reviews online. So I thought, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll order this. I thought I'd ordered it in black, but it came through in red. So I think that's probably operator error on my part, not on the supplier's part. But I'm not going to send it back just because it's in red. It's quite a nice colour. So why did I buy it? Well, it's got everything you could ever think of on this. It's a cracking, an absolute cracking amplifier for the price. So you've got standard uh, controls here. I'll just move a bit closer so you can see. So we've got uh, on there a mic and instrument uh, input. We've got a guitar or a mic input. We've got, um, let's have a look what we've got here. We've got an aux in, so you can play music in and play along with it. We've got a line out, which is really helpful because you can do a line out straight into your door uh, through whatever interface you've got on that. We've got a phones uh, socket on it, so you can put headphones on while you're practicing. And uh, you've got foot switches here. So why do you need a foot switch on a Street Q2? Well, a couple of reasons. You can actually program your foot switch um, to switch on the harmonies because it's got a harmony button on it as well and for the looper it's actually got a built-in looper on it difficult to use the looper without a foot switch so you do need a you do need a foot switch on it so that's all the things on the back it's battery powered as well as mains powered i think you get something like 15 hours on eco uh, output on battery and you can control everything so if we just if we just drop it down ever so slightly uh, which is the best way, probably the best way is that way. So you can read uh, what it says on it. So on here, we've got, uh, if you look at the uh, guitar in, you've got a uh, graphic equalizer, you've got bass, treble, and um, oh, bass, middle, and treble, and you've got a um, reverb uh, point on it as well. Then you've got that duplicated again, uh, for your microphones and then you've got different chorus types and um, reverb uh, for your guitar so I tried this out when I first got it so the reverb's great gives you a really good reverb on it and the chorus gives you a really good effect um, to the guitar so it's a, it's a really good uh, system that back down when you're looking at the mic if you flick the button to mic and you've got a mic plugged in uh, you've got a volume button on it and you've got something called harmony and you can do one octave up one octave below half an octave up half an octave below and it's dead easy to set and you can also uh, set it to the key that you're actually singing in which is going to help so it's a bit like a uh, well it's not a bit like it is a harmony that you can kick in and you can control that from your foot switch so if you get to a chorus and you want to double up the voice just hit the, the harmony button you can either have it similar sound to you which thickens up your voice or you can do it uh, and it can harmonize half an octave above or half an octave below or a full octave above or below which is really good as far as the settings are concerned i've only had it set to uh, guitar at the moment because uh, i'm using a uh, acoustic electro acoustic guitar so you can have normal setting really good just what your guitar sounds like you can have bright and gives like bright and tense to it and then you can have something called wide, which is a full resonance of how your guitar sounds, uh, which is uh, which is really quite useful. What I intend to do, I've, I've had it set on bright, and then you can alter, if you're going from your aux into your door, you can alter the gain on, on, your, uh, on your system and the volume output as well. So it's got everything you could want uh, on it. I guess the only downside is you can only plug either one more instrument in at the same time as yours is in, or one mic in. Um, but I'm sure if you go into a sound desk, you can come out in different configurations. But for a gigging artist or a busker who's out on the streets, 
and it's just you singing and you playing this is really great it's a, a great little bit of kit and it's dead light as well even an old geezer like me can carry it around carry it around town uh, and put it in position so that was it that was a, just a quick update on the uh, uh, boss cube street 2 uh, what I'll do is I'll do some sample sets uh, in the following videos of the different settings that are on it so you can hear what it sounds like. Thanks very much for watching.